Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is Ziggo Stretch. Uh, Ziggo Stretch is a binary puzzle that was suggested by Zachary Zieper. Uh, Zachary Zieper, uh, Zach, he has uh, a Dutch hound, also known as a Wiener dog, uh, and his dog uh, Louis, he thought, well, can I turn uh, this 3D scan of my dog into a puzzle? So he thought about uh, uh, turning uh, the Bram Cohen Ziggy concept, which you have seen me explore, um, into a puzzle. So what I designed for him uh, was this uh, elongated uh, uh, thing that actually stretches, hence its uh, name, and he turned it into, um, well, the screwy Louis um, Dashund uh, puzzle. So. Let me uh, give you a bit of a demonstration how it works. So um, what you do is rotations and like in any binary puzzle then uh, you do first one, then the other, then the first one back, next one out, out, then we have the third one and we uh, reverse all the moves there, then we get one more out, then we get even more out, etc. So it took me uh, quite a lot of uh, prototypes to get this uh, working, so uh, let me show you just some of the prototypes and even more prototypes. So uh, um, what you see here is the little maze that you have seen before in uh, several of the other uh, Ziggo uh, puzzles uh, and this concept with the zigzags uh, was by uh, Bram Cohen, so now I applied it to a cylinder. But what should the cylinder look like? So my first attempt was something very basic with some screws and then a pin that runs explicitly into the maze because I wanted to visualize the maze but this didn't work, uh, it was too floppy and it didn't work uh, so I tried something um, more like this with uh, all these uh, angled things and again um, the zigzag maze in a cylinder didn't work uh, either, so next I was thinking inside out, so let's not put the little mazes at the outside, but at the inside. So here we have a piece and it's a bit hard to see um, where uh, you can see the little maze at the inside. And also one of the things that uh, you can see is uh, a piece of wire sticking out and actually uh, while uh, printing this um, my printer grabbed the wire uh, for, the, for one of the thermistors and uh, so it actually broke the cable but it continued printing. So now I have a piece of my 3D printer embedded into this 3D print. But anyway the, the good news was that everything uh, did fit together. Um, here's yet another uh, uh, predecessing one where I was getting a feeling for um, yeah, how things got together. And anyway, um, this is the result and Zach made uh, actually uh, four versions of it for, as a, for demo purposes. He is uh, going to give this away as an uh, international puzzle party uh, exchange in uh, Texas and uh, f uh, so um, people will be getting the long uh, Dutch hund but uh, he shows that you can also make uh, shorter versions so the two segment version is very easy you just unscrew it and that's it so the short screwy Louis is uh, solved uh, very quickly um, the longer one takes a few more moves and there we have it in uh, pieces and then as this thing is uh, binary uh, every segment that you add doubles the number of moves so um, that makes it much uh, more difficult and obviously from the long ones you can also make uh, yet again uh, short screwy louis or st short uh, uh, ziggo stretch. So um, my question to you is about this theme. Um, we have this uh, great stretch theme uh, for Wiener Dog uh, which is uh, quite fun. Uh, there's one obvious uh, stretch theme that I'm not going to mention here but yes we have already uh, thought about that one. So my question is can you come up with a third stretch theme 
team that would be non-offensive and that would be really fun as something that stretches. Thank you for watching.